Man you see here behind me, a twice convicted killer, and now a third person is dead, this time in Pasco County. Yeah, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler live in Holiday with the suspect's violent past and how he ended up living with that third victim. Eric? And I just got some new information from the Florida Department of Corrections. They say that Warren Birkbeck was able to come to Florida on parole after serving 15 years for murder in New Hampshire because he had family here. He was checking in with his parole officer once a month, as is required, and he was living in this home. To put it simply, Warren Birkbeck creeped out his next door neighbor, Melissa Sullivan. You know when you, you meet somebody and you get that feeling that just something isn't right, I need to leave this conversation now? That's the kind of vibe that he gave me. Sullivan and others on Trask Drive found out this morning their neighbor, 42-year-old Denise Cook, was dead. And according to the Pasco Sheriff's Office, one of her roommates, Warren Birkbeck, admitted to stabbing her several times, jealous because he overheard her phone conversation with another man. It doesn't appear there was any romantic relationship between Birkbeck and Cook, but he told investigators he was in love with her. No other way to say it, he's a killer. Um, he has a history of killing people. Records show Birkbeck was convicted of manslaughter in Massachusetts in 1962 and then second degree murder and the stabbing death of his estranged wife in New Hampshire in 1999. He served about 15 years in prison before getting out on parole two years ago. You track child molesters and everything else, but you know, I didn't know this guy had two other murders under his belt. It, it, want to put it like that. But. Investigators say Birkbeck told the 85 year old woman who owns the home he killed their roommate and she should call 911. He then told the dispatcher I just have a hard time being rejected. It's shocking because you never know who's living right next door to you. So I mean it, it could have been anybody you know so it, he could have gotten into an argument with me and he could have killed me He could have killed my mom he could have killed the older lady you know you just you never know and it's just it's scary. This wasn't the first time deputies visited this home. Just last month, there was a call for a Baker Act, but who exactly was Baker Acted is not public record. There was also a welfare check involving the victim. That happened in February. Live in Holiday, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.